School choice and criminal justice reform are expected to be key issues in turning Wisconsin red in November. One America's John Hines speaks with former Governor Scott Walker and has more from Maryland. You, of course, famously governor of Wisconsin. How many terms? Uh, I was in for two terms, but won three elections to get it. So uh, first in American history to do that. And I, I was shocked, like probably a lot of people, that uh, your last election didn't go as well because you had been targeted before. Uh, talk about 2018. Was that something which was an outlier year? Was that unique? Well, I think it was remarkable in the sense that the Democrats harnessed all their negative energy towards the president and others and really targeted in 18. And unfortunately, I think a lot of conservatives just took things for granted. In our case, Wisconsin, actually, we got more votes than we did four years earlier when we won. Uh, but they were quite effective, particularly on college campuses, getting the vote out. In many cases, they tied it into a referendum on marijuana usage, which was not binding. Uh, but I think now in 2020, I, I believe after that last election, enough folks, not only Wisconsin, Wisconsin and across the country wake up and really realize what's at stake. And it's much as I mentioned, it's the battle between freedom and socialism. How many votes did the president win Wisconsin by last time? I forgot. He was under 49 percent or it was under 50 percent, I should say, just 49. So you're talking about just a few thousand votes was the difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. We think it's going to be incredibly close. But ironically, much like the recall election I had years ago, where the left started out energized, the right kind of woke up at the end. And eventually we will won independence overwhelmingly because they were disgusted with the process. We find the same to be true with impeachment. There's a lot of independent voters in Wisconsin, I believe other battleground states, are frustrated that Democrats seem to only care about impeaching this president, attacking this president, as opposed to getting things done. The more the president talks about the good things happening in this country and the impact it has on real people's lives, the better off you'll be. So the president may make get some traction with independence in Wisconsin, you think? Yeah, I do. I think in the end, and we saw... Which could carry the state? That's the key to carrying the state, is is it's a locked in base on either side. You've got to win the majority of the sliver of independents left. I think he can do that. We saw a bump before the impeachment. His numbers showed he was underwater with each of the major Democrats after impeachment, oddly enough, kind of defies conventional wisdom, but he actually went ahead of uh, a number of the Democrats. Why? Because independents were put off with the process. They thought it was unfair. And the more the president can talk about results versus Bernie, Biden, Bloomberg, or whoever, talking about being angry angry and upset and attacking, that turns independents off in Wisconsin. They want results. Uh, criminal justice reform, that's been a big deal amongst conservatives, and the president has carried water on that. Wisconsin has a small but not insignificant African-American population. People don't associate the dairy state with that. But could that be something which potentially gives the president an extra 2 or 3 percent of the vote, which could come in handy? Right. You do 2 to 3 percent more in the black community in Wisconsin, you win the election. And so not only criminal justice reform, which I think has a major effect, uh, but also advocating for educational choice, for parental choice. It's a big deal. We were the first program 30 years ago in Wisconsin. When you look at not only the president's support, and Betsy DeVos is Secretary of Education, but you look at people, again, like Bernie and the others, saying they flat out want to kill school choice. Uh, that is devastating uh, to families in Milwaukee and Racine and other places around the state of Wisconsin. And as we saw in the race for governor of Florida, that was the deciding factor. Governor Scott Walker, you're still governor, in, in my memory anyway, of Wisconsin. Thank you very much for talking about American. My pleasure. Good to be with you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.